Increased weight oftentimes has a multiple, uh, multiple fold effect on the uh, hip and knee. Oftentimes activities such as um, getting up from a, a seated position or climbing, uh, climbing stairs, you can see a five fold increase in, in weight experienced on the hip and knee during those activities. So, um, so elevated um, body mass index or elevated weight can really uh, impose significant increase in stress on the hip and knee and uh, result in earlier arthritis. There are multiple issues that are caused by increased body mass index or weight. Uh, the biggest one is infection. So infection after a hip or knee replacement is really catastrophic. I happen to specialize in a lot of infections from the community, so it's something that I just cringe um, seeing uh, in my practice. Generally speaking, when a patient comes to me with an elevated body mass index and I'm concerned about their safety, um, if it, their BMI is between 40, 45, or 40 to 50, I, at the very least, will start a medical weight loss program. Um, the, um, if they have uncontrolled diabetes or their BMI starts to get over 45 or 50, that's when I'm oftentimes offering them both the medical weight loss option or bariatric surgical option. We have a lot of patients uh, with uh, joint pain and the number of patients who are coming to orthopedic surgeons with joint pain and obesity is increasing. The orthopedic surgeons now are requiring uh, weight loss before joint replacement to uh, lower the weight so the joints are more successful, but also to lower the complications and increase the safety of joint replacement. Patients who have joint disease cannot exercise. It's impossible for them to do it. And therefore, they, they have to go through another route to get to uh, joint replacement. One of, this, one of these uh, options is bariatric surgery. So when patients come to see me, we'll tell them we're gonna do a lot of things to get you ready, including the operation, but also we're gonna put you on healthier diets to reduce your weight a little bit in preparation uh, and take out the inflammation from your joints. In collaboration with the orthopedic surgeon, uh, we see them, we get them on a pathway, and within three to four months, they'll have their operation done. And within six months to nine months, we'll send them back to their orthopedic surgeon so they can have their joints fixed. In the interim, this is about nine months to a year process. Well, they're, they're seeing me and then they're seeing their orthopedic surgeon. We ask them to work closely with their orthopedic surgeon uh, to do physical therapy for their joints or have injections or other ways to reduce the joint pain while they're preparing for surgery.